Sampark Foundation is an idea, an idea that irrespective of how big a problem is, a little bit of innovation can solve it. If you put alum in milk, it gets into cheese. We believe a little bit of innovation in any social problem can bring about a large scale social transformation, which is the basic idea of birth of Sampak Foundation. Sampak Foundation was born in 2005. Me and my wife joined hands to try and solve a large scale social change problem called poor learning outcomes in our government schools. Today, we work with 76,000 schools with 70 lakh children, 7 million children across four states of India. We have close to 700,000 schools across India, more, most of them in rural India. And the children studying in this, about 150 million children studying in these government schools, the learning outcome statistics shows that 80% of them cannot recognize numbers beyond 99 in grade 5 and cannot construct sentences or read class 2 text. With this size and scale of the problem, we at Sampark Foundation asked ourselves, what can we do to bring about large scale social change in learning outcomes? We came up with five innovative ideas, developed them, launched them. Let me introduce those five to you. The first big idea was the fact that there is no way technology can reach rural schools because of lack of electricity and the fact that the numbers are very high and anything you multiply with 700,000 schools, it, it's a phenomenal amount of investment. When we looked at the whole experience of seeing a movie in India in a rural village setting, we came across the fact that it's a very immersive experience. And we thought to ourselves, if we can bring the same immersive experience to school, maybe the children can get so enthused that the learning outcome will improve because of their enthusiasm. Thus was born Sampark Didi and an audio device, which has long lasting battery and a sutradhar in the voice of Sampark Didi, who would teach the children. Jiska naam tha Anuj. So through stories, which is English and Hindi, rhymes, uh, games, uh, songs and dance, this Sampark Didi and this sound box brought excitement in the class and started teaching maths in English, which resulted in the capacity building of the teachers who were using the device and also improvement in learning outcomes, improvement in enthusiasm and sudden excitement. The second innovation was using uh, TLMs. So not only we came with standard TLMs like the number line, the alphabet uh, boxes and, and the place value strips and all that stuff, but we also innovated in coming up with strips which actually you can dip in water and stick to a wall or stick to a village board. And these became demonstration tools for teachers to try and teach children using uh, using concrete to abstract. So instead of straight going to abstract, they will use these strips. These are, this is a strip of 10 and place value. So they will use these strips to try and teach the children in concrete and then abstract. So that was the second we, we, we created about 14 TLMs using village in mind in, and village children in mind. The third innovation was very interesting. It is true, it is unfortunate, but true that most of our teachers have so much work with reference to checking papers, filling registers, or doing other stuff, that the amount of real teaching time they spend in the class is, is less than you would see in private schools. So the question we ask ourselves is that, could we do something different in our schools uh, so that the, teach, the children can learn on their own other than the TLM. And that is how was born what we call the board games. So we conceptualize these board games. They are like the, the 100 chart. So you, it, they start from one and end as 100 here, unlike the other board games. And these board games, there are seven of them in maths and similarly in English, help them play the game and learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division using either dice uh, or play money. So using that, the children are playing on their own and learning what they learned in concrete form and then they move to abstract form and then to board games. 
Then the fourth innovation was what we call the Sampark Magic Masala. These are math tricks and English tricks of learning grammar and learning multiplication division. So once you have the fundamentals using concrete, then we introduce the Sampark Magic Masala for them to be able to go to the advanced techniques. And some kids who are very smart just love to try and challenge themselves. And that's how Sampark Magic Masalas came in form of animated videos for our teachers to learn and how to challenge some kids who are doing extremely well. And the last innovation we brought in is what we call the progress tracking. We must understand that rural schools actually are multi-grained. Some kids don't even know counting while some kids are on multiplication and division. So we created what we call a progress chart tracking. These are progress charts for each class and each subject. So there are names of the children and these are concepts which the children should know. The, the teacher does a baseline ticks as to what does the child know. And in one glance, the teacher would be able to know in the multi-grade classroom in terms of how to group these children on the basis of skill and how to monitor the progress over the course of the year. This then is converted into, scanned into an Android app and the entire learning outcome month by month of all the 7 million children which we, which we track is put onto a cloud-based app and the results and the ana analytics of that is presented to the chief minister and to the chief secretary on which blocks are doing well, which district is, uh, is doing well and therefore there is a certain kind of internal competitiveness which is created. So analytics with competitiveness drives a change of behavior. In Sampark Foundation, we are very excited of the learning outcomes we have been able to achieve. Remember, I talked to you about the fact that different reports have said that in grade 5, 80% of the children cannot count beyond 99 and construct simple sentences or read class 2 text. In our case, the learning outcomes of last year done by a third party assessment agency showed that in grade 2, people, 76% of the children could do division and multiplication and construct 100 sentences using 500 English words and they had never spoken English before. But I think what I am most proud of is the fact that 100,000 of those children performed a play called My Family in English on Village Square, which is a day which made me very, very proud. So thank you for joining us to be part of this thought that any big challenge can be solved if you bring innovation to bear and that is what we are committed to. We hope to cross to seven states to, to 20 million children and we hope that we have your blessings and your support in making that happen. Thank you so much.